Hi, I'm Brent, and I'm glad you're here. This workout is going to do a lot more for your golf game than a new set of golf clubs. Welcome to Evolve Golf One. Let's get started with our warm up. So, we're going to start off with some trunk rotations, loosening up the torso here. You're going to go right, nice and deep towards the ground, slowly come right back up. I'll let you know when to switch directions, all right? Now, this workout includes some familiar primal movements as well as some new exercises to improve power, control, and flexibility. Now, not only will it help even the newest golfer hit the ball longer and straighter, it will help you feel better on the golf course and also keep your head in the game. That's important. All right, we got mod one is the easiest, mod three is the most difficult. Let's switch directions, guys. Good, next stretch, we're gonna step back, right leg. Just a slight step back, force your hip forward, feel that stretch through the front of the hip. Hold for two seconds, and then we're gonna repeat opposite side. So we'll keep going through that. Now, tutorials are the best way to have the moves broken down for you. Check them out to ensure your form is correct. Listen, good form is gonna get you the best results. So let's go two more steps. That's it, feel that stretch. Exhale as you lean backwards. Very good. Okay, next one. Stepping sideways, okay? Step sideways, you're gonna stretch the inner thigh here. Two second hold, you're not going too deep. We're just going back and forth. Two seconds each side. All right, mod one, here's Stephanie. Hi, Brent. How are we doing? I'm good. Ready good, good. To tee off? I'm ready to tee off. Are you ready to tee off? Oh, yeah. All right, next we have Robin in mod two. No more sand traps for me. And then Jage, we got mod three. There you go, man. I'm ready, ready to make it happen today. Those clubs. Okay, good. We're going to get things going with another stretch here. We're going to go into just circles with the arms. So nice, wide circles to start, and then we're going to get narrow as we get further through it. So watch my arms here, getting a little bit smaller. Good, three, two, one, and let's switch directions nice and wide. Good, feel yourself open that chest up. A little smaller. Very good. Good, so before you start a game of golf, it's important to stretch. A lot of golfers don't. You really need that stretch perfect your game. Okay, right, next thing. We're just gonna go side to side here, side to side. Nice and easy, let your arms take you through the motion. Heel can come off the ground. We're gonna go about 15 more seconds with this one here. Excellent, breathe through it. Exhale with each turn. Nice, nice fluid motion. Excellent, okay. From there, toe out for me. All right, we're gonna go down. As you go down into a partial squat, you're gonna push your knees away from each other, okay? Come back up, go back down again, push your knees away from each other. You're gonna feel the stretch through the groin. I want you to keep your posture nice and tall throughout this movement as well. So we're gonna go for another 15 seconds. That's it. Nice, light pressure. Try to relax the inner thighs a little bit. You're stretching, you don't wanna be contracting against it. Stretching before a game, stretching between games is gonna help with injury prevention. You wanna make sure you're always focusing on flexibility and increasing your range of motion. Good, let's get things going with our first round of seven exercises followed by a blowout. Everything we're doing today focuses on the key elements your body uses on the golf course. Okay, let's tee it up. First round of set A, bent over Zen swing. So you're gonna hold that golf club in the hand, bend over about 45 degrees, keep your posture straight, and you're swinging side to side here. All right, let's start in three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Again, this is gonna help mobilize the muscles around the spine, right, loosen up the torso a little bit. So your mod three, 45 degree bend, nice full rotation here. Okay, mod two, we have Robin here. Again, we're just decreasing range of motion on the mods. All right, so we're not quite as low. We're not rotating quite as much as mod three, but we're still getting that nice rotation here. Good, and then mod one, standing up nice and tall, back and forth. Listen, this is the perfect exercise before taking any swings. All right, you wanna get into that swing nice and loosened up through the torso. This can be done with a golf club held in front of you, similar to mod three, right, to warm up before you go into a round of golf or at the driving range. Good, we got three seconds, two, and one, okay, up next is your rowing single leg deadlift. So you're gonna stand on your left leg, partially bend the knee, come down all the way to 90 degrees of your mod three, take your time getting there, row, squeeze those blades together, and then come right back up to the top. I don't want you to touch ground if you're in mod three, okay? Starting in three seconds, two and one. Here we go, that's it. 
Good, so if you're in mod one, you're just guiding your body with your hands on the thigh, okay? So you're not going as deep here. Every time Steph comes up to the top, she's squeezing those blades, right? And then coming out of position, nice job. Pick a spot beneath you here, okay? There we go, there we go. That's it, squeeze those blades, good. And let's switch sides, guys, so switch the leg. Yeah, remember, this is all about control, all about control. I want you to exhale as you pull that barbell up and squeeze the blades together every time. Nice job, Robin, good. So our mod two, we're not going as deep, but we're still getting that same action. All right, that's your last rep right there. Three, two, and one, excellent. Next up is the cross crawl, okay? So you're gonna go arms 90 degrees. I want you to bring your right leg up, and you're gonna bring your torso right across. So you're bringing opposite elbow towards opposite leg here. Three seconds till we start. Two, and one, here we go. Good, so if you're in your mod one position, arms are folded across the shoulders here, across the shoulders. Still getting that nice rotation, still driving the knee up. This focuses on pelvic lumbar stability. A Little bit of mobility through the torso, excellent. Mod two, arms are folded right here. If you're finding this easy, feel free to pick up the pace here, right? You can go a little faster, no problem with that. Just keep your posture intact and keep your form Accurate, all the way through, that's it. Mod three, arms are right behind the heads the whole time. Good, we're picking up the pace here with Jagay, feeling good. Oh, yeah. All right, getting Excellent. functional here. Let's keep this going. We have about five seconds left starting right now. Five, that's it. Four, three, nice and tall. Two, and done, excellent. Okay, next one is the hay baler. So mod three, you're gonna get right down to 90 degrees. Your arms are an extension of the torso. Come right down, right? Initiate with the legs and finish with that torso, right across. All right, three seconds two, and one. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Focus on powerful trunk rotation, which provides your swing with more speed. Good, exhale with each turn, guys, each turn. Very good, the faster you swing, the further the ball goes, remember that. Right, so generate that power, exhale, swing, excellent. The trick is to keep full control when you're swinging fast. Switch directions now. Good, so even though you're increasing the speed, if you feel good, increase the speed, but keep that control. There's control all the way through. All the way through, that's it. Great, you gave, very good. Good, use that breath as well. Good, we have five seconds left. That's it, Robin. We're going a little bit less depth here. There we go, two and one, nice work. All right, next is the windmill, okay? So what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna face your toes about 45 degrees towards the right, okay? Take your right hand, down towards the inner thigh of the right leg, your left hand up in the air. Look up at that hand for me. I want you to come down slowly, your hip towards the left. You're gonna to reach towards the ankle and then come right back up to the top again, okay? We're gonna repeat that until I say switch sides, okay? Three seconds, two, and one. Again, you have your mods, and your mods are based on range of motion, the depth at which you're going here. Every time Steph goes down here, she's stretching those obliques, right? Obliques are very important for stability muscles and power muscles for golf. You gotta keep that in mind here. Well, feel that. Very good, you feel that, right? Oh yeah. Good, That's good. Great. Switch directions. Perfect. Some people think you don't have to be fit to play golf. I mean, look at Tiger Woods. He's in incredible shape. The thinner you are, you're preventing injury, you got more power. Definitely wanna focus on your fitness. That's it, try to stay completely lateral. So again, you're in mod three. We're going right down to that ankle each time. Feel that stretch, okay? Oh, yeah. Very good. All right, we're almost there. Three seconds, two, and one. We're gonna lie onto the back now. We're getting into what's called the moving bridge. So your arms are out in T position, head and neck relax. Lift those hips right up towards the ceiling. You're gonna lift your leg up and extend at the knee joint, all right? Right leg, then left leg. Your hips should stay nice and still throughout this movement. Let's start in three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Tutorials are there to make sure you get accurate form, okay? We want the best results, we want the best form you can get. Good, core nice and tight, that is perfect, Robin. Mod two, arms are down a little bit closer to the body to stabilize the body a little more, but we're just lifting straight up and down instead of extending at the knee joint. Very good, good, and mod one, arms are even closer. All we're doing here is we're lifting hips up and down. We're engaging the entire posterior chain of the lower body here and a little bit of the lower back. So you got hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Good, not only do you need to be fit to play golf, you need to be functionally fit, right? Big difference there. Good, that's it. Hips nice and still. So we got your game mod three. We're extending at the knee every time. Three seconds left. That's it, two, 
And last one, nice work guys. Okay, let's get you standing. We're gonna go into the force field swinger next. So feet about shoulder width apart, keep the knees slightly bent. I want you to bend over about 45 degrees. Posture intact here, hands are about four inches away from each other. You're gonna come up with that right arm and slam right towards the left arm. We're keeping stillness through the midsection here as you go side to side, all right? Starting in three seconds, two and one. This is the perfect chance for you to focus on stillness and control of the body, right? The more you're in control of your body, the more control you have over where that ball goes. That's important. Mod one, that's it, perfect. So we're not as deep. Core's nice and tight. She's super still through the torso and hips. Very good. So make sure the hands aren't touching. That's your force field there. Opposite polarities, right? When that right hand comes in, it forces the left hand out. Good, core nice and tight. Be aware of your core tension here. That's it, Robin, very good. So mod two, we're getting a little bit further with the range. Excellent, all the way to mod three here. Jugay's getting basically as far as you can. As you come up, you probably feel a nice stretch through the pecs as well, oh, yeah. right? As long as we're staying still through that midsection and hip area. We got three seconds left here, two and one. We're gonna get into the blowout, guys. So I'm gonna get you to lie on the back, okay? So you're lying on the back. We're starting with supine scissors, okay? So you're gonna keep your head and neck supported on the ground, arms out in T position, lift the legs up, and we're going back and forth, okay? Draw your belly button tight to the spine. I'll let you know when to switch to the prone flutter. We're starting in three seconds. Two, and here we go. Good, so we're really working the abdominal wall here. A little bit of the flexors as well. I want you to be very conscious of your head and neck. Keep them very relaxed here, that's it. Belly button is down and back right towards that spine. Very good. Excellent, so mod three, our legs are right off the ground, just hovering, okay? Mod two, the main difference is we're up a little higher, okay? Still very challenging, isn't it, Robin? Arms are in a little bit tighter towards the body, which is gonna help with stability. Good, keep that going. Keep your breathing nice and natural here, right? Nice and natural all the way through. Mod one, we have step. Arms are a little closer to the body, a little more stability, and the legs are almost straight up in the air, but we're still focusing on that core, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna get you to flip right over onto the front. Yep, going into the prone flutter. So you're lying face down, head looks at the ground, thumbs up, and you're fluttering. Back and forth, right, left, right, left. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go, right into it. Good. Nice. Don't be married to your mod here. If you can push it a little more, then I want you to move up, okay? Form is everything. Keep your form intact all the way through. Nice job. Very good. Good job, guys. Kind of looks like a swimming exercise, but it's really great for golf. You're improving the muscles you need to counteract that forward-leaning position. All right, let's flip over, get back to the supine scissors. We're gonna go right into it for the last 15 seconds. Here we go. That's it, guys. Nice and quick. If you're in mod three, draw that belly button down tight. That's it, keep relaxed up top. Nice, you gang, very good. All right, we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, that is the first round. We have 45 seconds of break here. Grab some water, nice, awesome. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. All right, grab some water. <clears throat> So golf is very much a mental game. It's about keeping your focus and keeping control with your mind on where you want that ball to go. So we're focusing on all that. I want you to keep very focused on this second round. This is the second round of set A. Here we go. So we're starting off with your bent over Zen swing. 45 degree bend, keep your core tight, hold that golf club, and we're going side to side, side to side. All right, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go, good. If you're in that mod three position, I want to see that nice full rotation but again, we're staying very accurate with form here. Spine is straight. Nice natural curve in your low back, right? Athletic stance. Good, mod two, we got Robin. We're not down as deep, but we're still getting through that nice rotation here. You'll notice your heel comes off the ground a little bit as you turn. Allow that to happen, right? We wanna follow through. Very good, Robin. All right, mod one, we're doing a straight swing. So you're up nice and tall, but we're still doing a full rotation, full rotation, getting that torso involved. Very good. So this is a strength exercise, but it's also a great warm-up exercise for golf, right? You wanna mobilize your torso, mobilize everything around the hips and core area. We got five seconds left, guys. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Okay, we're gonna challenge your stability going back into our rowing single leg deadlift. Stand on your left leg, knee partially bent all the way down to 90 degrees. Grab that barbell, squeeze the shoulder blades together, come back up to the top, all right? I'll let you know when to switch sides, starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. Again, if you're not too good with the stability yet, you're getting there. Start with mod one here. 
You're gonna still row as you come up, but you're gonna slide your hands down the thigh just for a little additional support. Every time Steph comes up to the top, she's squeezing those blades, right? And then coming out of position, nice job. All right, keep going. We're almost ready to switch sides. Mod two, let's switch legs. We're still rowing on mod two. We're not going as deep, but we're focusing again. Imagine you're holding dumbbells as opposed to a barbell. Coming right back, squeezing those blades together, working those postural muscles, focusing on that balance. And then mod three, of course, we're going all the way to 90 degrees. Yeah, keep a nice, strong spine there. That's it. Going right back up, never touching ground, okay? Last three seconds. Last two and one. Okay, next one is the cross crawl. Hands behind the head. You're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. So bring the knee up, side to side here, just like we did on the first round, starting in three seconds. Two and one. Here we go. Again, don't be married to your mod here. You can move it around. If you want to pick up the pace on this, as long as your form is correct, you can pick up the pace, no problem. That's it. Good. So remember, that core is central to movement, central to power. We want to keep focusing on drawing that belly button tight to the spine. Nice. Mod two, we got our arms stacked. Okay, still getting a nice rotation here. Great job, Robin. All right, bare feet and everything. Mod one, we have step. Arms folded across the shoulders, okay? We're still rotating side to side, still moving opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, good. Keep going. About 10 seconds left. Remember, don't forget to keep the breathing going. So exhale with your twist every time. Good. Remember, a lot of power in your golf swing comes from your core. Three, two, and one. And let's get into the hay baler. So we're down 90 degrees if you're in mod three, all the way down. Exhale, finish right up towards the top, okay? Three seconds till we start, two, and one. Remember, your arms are an extension of your torso, right? Just like golf, you want to use that, use that power, that central power that comes from the torso and the hips. Excellent finish there, Steph. Good. Using that breath as well as you come up to the top. Very good. So in this particular exercise, we're initiating the movement with the lower body, and then we're finishing it with the torso and hips here. Switch direction, guys. That's it, Robin. All right, let's see it. Good. So imagine you have a weight in the hands, right? That's going to keep you focusing on that posture, keeping the postural muscles strong all the way through. Nice, erect posture all the way through. We're almost there, we got 10 seconds left. That's it, okay? You get that twist to the outside of the knee. Keep your arms nice and straight. Remember, your chest follows your arms. Follows your arms all the way through. Lead with the sternum here. Okay, three seconds, two, and one. Okay, let's get into that windmill. So, feet are about 45 degrees to the right. Take your right hand towards the inner thigh. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Look at that hand for me and slowly descend down towards the ankle. Come right back up. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Ready? Three, two, one, and here we go. This is a great exercise to be aware of your flexibility and balances, right? Notice the difference between right and left. A lot of times there is a difference. Golfing is very one-sided. We want to try to balance that out. Good. So again, mod one, we're just decreasing the range of motion, but we're still getting that side stretching every time. Let's go two more reps and then we'll switch. Good. One more and switch sides for me. Same thing. So look up to that hand. Keep your head neutral. Feel the stretch. Think of, is there a difference between your right and left? Are you noticing that you were tighter on one side? Right? Be aware of that. That's it, Jay. Very good. Good. So again, we're getting right to the bottom with mod three position here. We have two more reps to finish this off. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get back down on the ground, going into our moving bridge. Arms in T, lying on your back. Lift your hips up, contract your core, extend at the knee joint, right leg, then left leg. All right, starting in three seconds. Two and one. We're gonna alternate all the way through here. Perfect, so if you're in mod two, you're not extending at the knee joint, you're just lifting the leg up, right? And then planting it back down, but hips remain the same height all the way through. That's the important thing on the mod three and mod two position. Arms are a little closer together when you're in mod two. Great job, Robin. And mod one, we're lifting up and down the hips, so the feet stay planted on the ground the whole time, but we're still engaging the back of the body here. Very good. Exhale each time. Head and neck relaxed. We got about 15 seconds left. Good. I want you to really tune in to what you're actually working here, right? Stability through the pelvis, through the core area. Hips should stay as still as possible. Look at that perfect example, Jugay. Good. Mod three. We want to extend all the way out. Straight legs every time. Two seconds left. One. Nice. Okay. We're gonna get back into the force field swinger. So get your standing position, bend over 45 degrees. Arms are down, but chest is high, shoulders are back, right? So again, lift that arm up and boom, right towards the left. We're going back and forth. That's a force field. It's pretty quick and we're stable through the torso. Three seconds, two and one. Here we go. Time to shatter your personal best, guys. This is round two. Nice. 
Good, good. Yeah, and you want to go with the breath too. When you come across and that other hand moves, you're exhaling, right? It's forceful. It's important, as always, to focus on both sides, right? This is a very repetitive sport that's generally on your dominant side. You're going to be tighter on one side than the other. We're always focusing on equalizing strength, equalizing flexibility and range of motion. We got about 15 seconds left here. That's it, Robin. Breathe through it. Good. Really still through here. Keep that focus. Nice. Good. It's interesting when you speed up, your body wants to move around, right? So keep that focus on keeping yourself planted and stable in that position as you come through. Nice and quick. Good. Three seconds. Two. And one, nice job, okay, awesome. All right, time for the blowout again. Let's lie on the back. We'll start with the supine scissors. I'm gonna move you around a little quicker here. Core engaged, it's back and forth, back and forth. Head and neck are relaxed, all right? Three seconds till we start. Two and one, here we go, nice and quick. Nice and quick, that's it. Good, 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 that's it. Keep that core nice and tight. Very good, control the breathing, relax the arms. Remember, arms shouldn't start floating off the Why ground, guys. You wanna focus right here, central, torso. That's it, we got three seconds left and we're gonna flip right over into that prone flutter. Two and one, let's go right over. Quick, 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 quick. Nice, all right, mod two, you got your arms partially bent. You're still fluttering though, head is still neutral. We're focusing on those strong back extensors. Awesome job, awesome job, keep it going. Nice. Five more seconds. I'm going to go right back to the supine scissors. That's it. Keep going. Good. Mod Don't three. We need a little job. higher. A little higher. Hang in there. See nice. Moment. Nice. That's it, Jugate. Challenge it. Two and Master one. DK. Flip over. Here we go. <laughs> good. All right. Let's work this. Nice. Good. Good. Again, be conscious of your back position, right? You shouldn't start overarching in that low back. If you are, you need to mod down. Right? Keep that belly button drawn tight. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Nice breathing. Nice breathing. Right, good. Fast. You're almost down to the last 30 Ooh, seconds here, guys. Faster. We're going to switch it again in three seconds. Ooh, Two. One, good flip for me. Go back into the prone flutter. Nice and quick, guys. Just keep that transition going. You're almost there. That's it, push strong here. Nice, we got about five more seconds. I'm gonna get you to flip over. Stay higher, higher, higher. That's it, good job, good job. Three, two, and let's flip over. Finish off with the supine scissors here. We got less than 15 seconds left here, guys. Finish it. Good, good, keep that core nice and tight. If you can go quick, I want you to go quick. Keep the head down, though, head down. Yeah, arms relax, that's it, nice and quick. Focus on that torso. We have three seconds, two, and done, nice job. Woo! Awesome. Done. Well done, 45 right. second break. Good work. Good work. Excellent. Good work. Well done, well done. Grab some water. Good job, guys. Before we get into our next series of exercises. All right, Evolve is about personalizing your fitness experience to fit your goals and your lifestyle. Through this workout, we're focusing on key elements that will assist you to balance muscular strength and enhance range of motion, reduce the risk of injury. All right, you guys ready to get into the first round of set B? Yes. Yeah? yeah let's do it. All right, so first thing's gonna be the squatting Zen swing. I want you to get all the way down, 90 degrees, if you're in mod three, okay? Zen swing side to side. Let the arms take you side to side, okay? All right, starting in three seconds. Two and one. Good, here we go. Here, remember, in your back swing, you're twisting and loading that spring, right? And then you're releasing it into a rapid twist. Movements like this are gonna assist you with that. Good, side to side. Range of motion is the main difference between the mods here. Mod one, we're about 30 degrees. Mod two, we're getting down about 45. That's it, Robin. Good, good, feel the stability in your lower body though. Mod three with Jugay here, we're down to 90 degrees. Side to side, you're still trying to keep that chest nice and high. That's it, very good. Good, this movement helps us with further control, right? Further control with our swing. Good, keep going, almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, good. A little bit of a leg burn there, right? Okay, next one is the single leg putter. So you're gonna stand on your left leg. Leg is partially bent. Lean right over to 90 degrees. Get your hands together, okay? And just like a putt, you're going side to side here. Just the arms are moving, keep everything else still, okay? You're going about just wider than hip width if you're in mod three. Let's start in three seconds, two, and one. One, so get your positioning first, right? It's important to set the position first. There we go, and then side to side. All about control, head is neutral, face down for me. Yes, good. Look at that ball, right where the ball is gonna be, that's where I want your eye focus to be, okay? Good, back leg lifts up a little bit there, Jugay. Nice, good, all right, I wanna see straight lines here. So mod two, we're not as deep, but still very straight lines. Let's switch sides. Good, so remember, your core is stabilizing your hips, your glutes. Everything, your ankle stabilizers, everything's keeping you still, and you're just focusing on that ball, and you're going back and forth with the arms. Good. 
Nice job. So mod one, range of motion changes. It's a little bit less than mod two and mod three. We have about five seconds left to finish this off. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, next up, we're gonna go into the hip twister. Hands are behind the head, okay? What you're going to do is you're gonna twist to the right and then twist to the left. So I want you to see your hips actually pretty quickly move from side to side as your body turns with it, okay? Three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Good, so let's do that really quick hip twist. That's it, power generated from the core and the hips. Awesome, arms are folded, right? If you're in mod two like Robin, excellent. A lot of the power in golf is generated from the core and the hips. It's that powerful twist of the hips that gets you hitting that ball far. Good, keep going. Nice, mod one, we're still doing a very quick twist. Arms are folded across the chest, nice. Notice the pivot, every time you go, you're pivoting on the foot. Awesome, good, we got about 15 seconds left here. All right, Jake. let's see this, let's see power on the twist, quick, power, power, there we go, good, good. Lots of speed on that twist, posture's in line, hips are moving quickly, we got three seconds left, two, and one, nice job. All right, the mini windshield wiper, we're gonna go onto your backs here, All right, keep the knees bent, 90 degrees, arms in T position. I want you to go down to your right, all the way down until you almost touch the floor. Come right back up and go opposite direction, same thing, side to side here. Head and neck stay very relaxed all the way through. Starting in three seconds, two and one. Mod three, we're going all the way till you barely, just almost touch the ground, about an inch from the ground. Keep that core nice and tight. This is what's stabilizing you. This is what's helping you bring yourself right back up. Awesome. Use that breath, exhale as you pull across. Mod one, our arms are in closer for more stability, okay? Feet don't leave the ground, but we're still getting that rotation. We're still contracting that side to bring the legs across. Very good. Head and neck are relaxed. Very good. Mod two, we got Robin, arms are out a little bit further, and we have the heels closer to the butt. But we're still getting a pretty good rotation here from side to side. You feel that core working, don't you, Robin? That's so good. That's it. Excellent. You probably feel a little bit of a stretch, too, as you go yes. across. All right, three seconds here. Two and one, excellent. All right, next is your push, swing, pull, side plank. We're gonna get on the forearm of your left arm, okay? So down onto the forearm, right? Stack your feet, get yourself in a nice high position, contract that core. We're gonna start with the hand by the side, push your right hand out, then you're gonna swing it backwards, and then you're gonna pull it from overhead, and then repeat, push overhead, swing backwards, and pull to the center of your body. Let's start that in three seconds. I'll let you know when to switch. Two and one, here we go. All right, here we go, so straight out, back around. Nice, very good, very good. So hips stay nice and high, right? Your hips aren't moving at all, your joints are in a very straight line as you're doing that arm movement. That's knocking your stability off a little bit, so it's getting you to focus a little more on your core. All right, so this movement provides you with core stability, increased shoulder mobility, and ultimately, a longer and more controlled swing. All right, guys, switch sides, same thing. Nice, nice. If the arm movement's complicated, go to tutorials, right? Get the arm pattern down first and then come back and join us. Good, all right. Mod one, we have the bottom leg bent, we have the top leg straight. Good, our mod two, we're staggering the feet for more stability, but same arm movement here. Almost there, two seconds, Robin. And done, awesome. Okay, next, the drawbridge. So you're gonna go back onto your back. Hips up nice and high, arms in T position. All right, the drawbridge. We're walking with your feet, so it's one, two, three, four, and then coming back in. One, two, three, four. Hips stay still and elevated. Start in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. All right, our mod one, the difference, we're not walking, we're lifting up and down with the hips, okay? Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Keep that core as tight as you can all the way through. This is control and focus, guys. We're gonna keep that all the way through. Nice, so here we're walking out two times and walking back in two times on mod two with Robin. Good core, nice and tight. I'm watching for still hips, right? If you were to set a book on your hips, it should stay very still and flat all the way through. Good, mod three, Jugay's going out the full four walks out, four walks in, but the hips are staying high all the way through. You're feeling the back of the legs burning, aren't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, good. So I know you're feeling the burning, you're supposed to feel the back of the legs burning, you're working those posterior muscles, but you're also working your core, so focus on that as well. We have three seconds left, two, and one, nice. Okay, here's an exercise you probably remember from core one, the rotating Saxon, okay? Partial bend at the knees, hands above the head. I want you to go gradually to the right side, feel that stretch, exhale, come back up, rotate towards the right, and then we're gonna repeat in the opposite direction, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and 
One, so really feel that stretch, guys. Feel the oblique stretch out, then contract. Bring yourself back up as you exhale. Twist towards the right. Nice work, good. Repeat opposite direction. Stretch towards the left. Exhale, pull up, twist towards the left. Very good. Nice work, so arms are bent in your mod two like Robin here. Very good, and you'll notice we spend a lot of time working on core for golf, why? Golf is so reliant, heavily reliant on the core, right? That's where your power comes from, right? Your core and your hips for that finish. Power, your stability, right? You're gonna prevent injury by making sure you're doing balanced core work. Nice work here, good. Good, hands are on the hips for mod one. All right, three seconds here, two and one. Nice. All right, into the blowout. So we're gonna get into the semi-squat rotator first, which is hands clasped, partial squat, and it's side to side, right? So again, we're using that torso fairly quick. And then in between, I'll let you know when, we're gonna go into a single leg push, swing, pull. So push, swing, pull. All right, starting in three, two, and one. Semi-squat rotator first, that's it. I wanna see nice and quick speed here in that mod three position. Do me a favor, try not to collapse with your elbows. I want you to keep them straight, straight. So your limitation is as far as you can go with straight arms, okay? Nice, and hips are still, that's it, okay? Chest high, shoulders back, breathe through it. Keep going. Mod two, our arms are stacked, right? We're folded right on the forearms. Still getting that nice rotation, still focus on still hips. There we go. That's it, feel the difference? Yeah, right, keep that going. Five more seconds left, then we're gonna go into the next one. Three, two, one. I want you standing on your left leg, all right? We're gonna go into the push. Right, swing and pull. Keep going through that. Push, swing, pull. That's it, again, if it's complicated, go to tutorials. That's it. Good, one more of these and we're gonna switch leg position and repeat. Good, and onto your next leg. Same thing, push, swing back, pull down. Push up, swing back, pull in, beautiful. The differences in mods is the difference in knee height, difference in the range of motion there. Good, let's get functional here. One more rep, let's finish this off, and then we're going back to the semi-squat rotator, okay? Here we go, back into the semi-squat rotator, hands clasped, chest high, side to side. Boom, 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 that's it, keep going. Nice, keep that intensity on this one. This one's all about speed without losing form. Good, keep going. We're gonna finish it with this, so I want you to finish strong here, nice and quick. Remember, lock those hips in place, root those feet to the ground. Let's get that torso moving, very good. Three seconds, guys. Two, one, beautiful, nice job. All right, excellent. All right, 45 second break. Grab some water here. Robin, nice work, nice work. Okay. I've spent a lot of time studying the mechanics of golf and I've trained a lot of golfers and there's one thing they usually have in common besides being able to stay focused. It's muscular and flexibility imbalances. Golf is very one-sided and very repetitive. The more you play, the more imbalanced you become. This often results in injury and back pain. So we're aiming here to balance out the body and correct these imbalances. You guys ready to start? Yep. Okay, second round of set B, squatting Zen swing. So we're going down to 90 degrees. It's side to side here, side to side. All right, starting in three, two, and one. All right, Jagay, let's see this. So nice tall posture. We're right down to 90 degrees. We're rooted to the ground the whole time here. Exhale on your turn. Excellent, nice full rotation. Good, mod two, Robin, doing a great job. We're not quite as low to 90 degrees, but we're about 45 degrees. Good, still feeling that rotation as you come through. Exhale every time. Excellent. We got about 20 seconds left. Looking good, mod one. Again, we're, but knees are slightly bent here, athletic stance, posture is tall. We're going side to side, trying to get that full rotation. If you can step up, go into the next mod, right? Go up a mod, no problem. Work yourself a little bit harder on this round. Good, keep going with five seconds left, Jagay. Focused, three, two, and one. Okay, single leg putter. Standing on the left leg, hands together. Come right down, set yourself first. Okay, 90 degrees, and we're putting side to side, right? The arms are moving, the rest of the body stays still. Three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Nice straight spine all the way through. From head to foot, we're seeing a nice straight line there. If you're in mod three like Jagay, we're going just outside of hip. We're just outside of the hip position. Good, perfect. Mod two. So Robin's going within the hip position, right? Hip distance. We're not down all the way. Switch sides for me. We're about 45 degrees with the bend, but nice straight line all the way through. Spine is straight. Focus on that point on the ground. You want to focus where that ball is, right? That's just Steph, how we doing here? 
focus. Good, great focus, great focus. Keep it going. We're just limiting range of motion with mod one here, Steph. Okay, we got about 10 seconds left. Good, let's finish this off. Nice and straight, keep that focus. We have three seconds left here. Two, one, great job. All right, next up is the hip twister. Let's go hands behind the head, knees slightly bent. It's a quick twist at the hips from right to left. Back and forth, starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. That's it, back and forth. Good, if you're in mod two, arms are folded across. Still nice and quick as you go right to left. Excellent. Good, lots of golfers have stiffness in their thoracic spine, their hips and ankles. Right, this stiffness puts motion into the low back during the golf swing, which eventually can express itself as pain and injury. Good, keep going, nice and quick. We got 25 seconds left, guys. That's it, Jugay. Speed. Good, no pause, just go right through. There we go, good, good. Remember, this is where your power is generated from, guys. Core, hips. Let's get into that twist. We got 10 seconds left here. Finish strong. That's it. You got about five more twists. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. All right, down onto your backs. We're gonna get into the mini windshield wiper. So arms in T position. Bend your knees 90 degrees. Over to the right, keep that core nice and tight. Exhale, pull back all the way to the left. Same thing. Side to side, starting in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Focus on the torso. It is controlled movement here. We're going almost to the ground if you're in your mod three position, right? Contract those obliques, contract the core, pull yourself back up with the exhale as you come across. Very good, you're good. Head and neck are naturally supported, but they're also relaxed all the way through. Good, so your mod two, your heels are closer to the butt here. You're still going right over. Excellent, and your arms are a little bit closer in for more stability. Good. We got about 20 seconds left. All right, so Steph in the mod one position, feet stay on the ground, but still allow yourself to rotate side to side and focus on keeping your core as tight as you can all the way through this movement. We're almost there. We got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, okay, we're gonna get into the side plank, the push, swing, pull side plank. Go onto your forearm for me on the left arm. Right, stack your feet, get yourself in a nice high position, contract that core. We're gonna start with the hand by the side, push your right hand out, then you're gonna swing it backwards, and then you're gonna pull it from overhead, and then repeat, push overhead, swing backwards, and pull to the center of your body. All right, it's all you, three seconds. Two, and one, here we go. Back, and pull, nice. Good, while you're doing this, while you're moving the arm, of course, it's offsetting your pelvic stability. Be conscious of where your hips are. They shouldn't drop down, right? You wanna keep them up, elevated, core tight all the way through. Good, we should have a couple more reps here and then I'll get you to switch sides. That's it, Robin. Mod two position, you're staggering the feet for a wider base, more stability. Switch sides, good, let's move right into it. Very good. Good, all right. Mod one, we have the bottom leg bent, we have the top leg straight, but our hips are still high. We're still keeping them elevated, going through that full arm motion. Good, we got 10 seconds left. Focus, balance, good, almost there, five seconds, that's it, you gave four, three, two, and one, excellent. All right, the drawbridge is next, I'm gonna get you to lie onto the back, arms in T position, hips up nice and high, core tight, walk out for four, one, two, three, four, back in, four, three, two, one, here we go, three, two, one, let's move through this, that's it. Remember, even though you're walking out, I want you to keep the hips up as high as you can here. We want to contract your glutes, your hamstrings, your low back, maintaining that position. Core is tight so your hips stay still. Very good. Good, remember mod two, you're walking out twice. So it's two out, two in, but still those hips don't drop. We're keeping them nice and high. Excellent, good, core nice and tight. Neck relaxed, very good. Arms are in just a little more. Good, mod one with Steph. We're gonna bring our arms in close to the side and then we're lifting up and down. Feet never leave the ground here. We're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings as you lift that body up. Let's finish off strong. Good. I know you feel that burn in the back of your legs. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, rotating Saxon neck. So stand up for me, knees partially bent, hands above the head. We're gonna get into a nice stretch as you lean to the right. Nice stretch through your side. Come back up, exhale, and then rotate towards the right. And of course, we're gonna repeat that again to the opposite side. Three seconds two, and one. The main difference here in the mods is the hand position and the range of motion. Hands on the hips for mod one. Still keep those shoulders back. I want you to still feel that stretch through the side as you lean, okay? Mod two, our arms are in a 90 degree position. 
but we're still getting that nice stretch and contraction through the obliques here. Very good. The breathing's important. This is more of a control motion, so don't rush through it. Remember, you're hinging from the hip, so the hip should stay forward all the way through here. That's it, okay? Nice, get that nice stretch. Let's even get a little bit deeper. Exhale as you come out of this, okay? Exhale, nice, and rotate. Perfect, we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. We are back to the blowout, guys. Semi-squad rotator, hands clasped. Get right down about 45 degrees, and we're back and forth. Ready? Three seconds, two, and one. Let's go nice and quick. We're not gonna collapse the arms here. Keep the arms straight all the way through. That's it, hips are still, abs are tight. Focus straight ahead there, that's it. Nice work, Jagay. All right, mod two, your arms are folded. Remember, root yourself to the ground here. Your hips are still all the way through. That's it, breathe, breathe, good, good, excellent. We're almost ready to get into our single leg push swing pull. All right, three seconds, two and one. Stand on your left leg, get that right leg right up if you're in mod three. It's push, swing, pull, push, swing, pull, that's it. Good, the whole time, when you're doing in those pulling actions, I want you to draw your shoulder blades together, right? Focus on those postural muscles. This is a lot of balance here. Your arms are moving your body around and you're asking your core and your stabilizers to keep you still. Okay, keep going. All right, switch legs, same thing. Yep, push, swing, pull. Nice job, guys. We got about three more reps of this side and then we're gonna get back into that semi-squat rotator to finish it off here. Push, swing, pull. Keep it going, we got five more seconds and we're gonna finish off. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Good, clasp those hands, get down into that partial squat, side to side, side to side. Let's finish strong here. That's it, remember, elbows don't collapse. Keep them straight all the way through if you're in that mod three position. Keep going, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, push it, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Excellent. All right, 45 second break. Grab some water. Well done. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Never. <laughs> so like many new golfers, I approach golf by trying to muscle through the swing. Doesn't work. I soon discovered that I need to do the exact opposite. Right? That introduced me to a new challenge, a mental challenge, one of precision and control. Love it. All right, now this set will be a little bit different than the first two. Here we're going to focus on flexibility and mobility to give you that fluid and effortless swing. These movements will also prevent injury and keep you on the course for years to come. So we're gonna get into our first round of set C, guys. Okay, so the first one is a hamstring push out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your hands on the knees, right? I want you to straighten the legs out, sink into your heels, and then come back into it. So it's about two seconds to get there, sink into those heels, and right back into the bent knee position, okay? Three seconds, two, and one. You wanna feel that stretch through the back of the legs here. Good, good, good. Good, it's quite often golfers have tight low backs, back injury due to tight hamstrings. We wanna correct that here, try to get the hamstrings lengthening with each push here. Good, that's it. So the more you push off your heels, into the heels, and push your hips backwards, you're gonna feel that stretch intensify. Don't force it, you can get a little bit further with each rep here. So it's just in and out. If you're in the mod one position, you can go hands on the hips. We're still same positioning, we're bending the knees and straightening the knees forward as you push into the heels and push your hips backwards. So it's back and out with the hips. We have five seconds left. Feel that stretch again? Yeah. Two, one. Okay, next one you're gonna get your hands down onto the ground. All right, we're gonna get into a little calf mobility here. I like to call this one my sprinter start here. So what you're doing is you're basically going to sink your right heel to the ground, bend your left knee a little bit to allow you to do that, and then sink your left heel to the ground, bend your right knee. So this is simply back and forth, nice and slow and progressive. Push back with your hands to sink into the heel a little bit more. We're gonna start in three seconds, two, and one. Good, so we're mobilizing the calves here, right? You'll feel a light stretch, not an aggressive stretch, but a nice light stretch. Good, and the more you get that heel closer to the ground, the more you're gonna get the stretch out of it. Good, even push yourself back into it a little more. There we go, feel the difference? Oh yeah. So if you push yourself back into it by pushing your body away from your hands, you're gonna feel a little bit more of a stretch here. Nice work. Great job, Robin. Good, so we got about 20 seconds left. Mod one, you can stabilize your body by going onto the forearms like Steph is here in the mod one position. Yep, down, 
Feel that stretch, feel the calf elongate every time you move your ankle. That's it, we've got five seconds left. Really breathe into that stretch. Last two seconds, one, nice. Okay, let's get standing. We're gonna go into a psoas hip flexor stretch next. So stand back with your right leg. Okay, what's gonna happen here is a contract, relax sequence. Your right arm is in the air. You're gonna lean to the midline of your body. What I want you to do is hold your breath, deep breath in. Hold for five seconds. Right, when you release your breath, you're gonna move deeper into the stretch and then hold that position and repeat. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Let's start in three seconds, two, and one. So arm is up. If you're mod three, lean midline of the body. Inhale, hold your breath for five. Good, three, two, one. Exhale and stretch deeper into, there we go, very good. Hold that position. Good. Exhale, go a little deeper into the stretch. Perfect, this is your last hold. And let's come out of that switch sides. Good. Remember, check tutorials to get a little bit more detail on how to do this effectively, okay? Need it. Good. Mod one, hands are on the hips. Move your hip forward, leaning backwards. We're just not leaning to the midline of the body, it's just directly backwards. Still get that five second hold of your breath. As you exhale, get deeper into that stretch, right? Three seconds, two, and let's finish. Good. Okay, guys, Scorpion next. So we're gonna go on to the chest. So the scorpion, you're gonna go both hands out. I want you to rest your head, look over to the right for me. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your right leg, bring it up and across the body. Take about two seconds to get there. You're gonna feel that stretch and then come right back down and repeat, okay? I'll let you know when to switch sides because we'll switch your head position as well. Starting in three seconds, two and one. Here we go. So this is a myofascial stretch here. As you come across, you're gonna feel a little contraction in the low back, stretching through the hip flexors a little bit. We're loosening things up through the hips and low back. Good, keep going. Spinal alignment is key here. So nice straight line with the spine. Try to keep your chest against the ground, your hands against the ground, your neck relaxed. Good, all right, switch sides now. So opposite leg, you can move your head to the opposite side for alignment and repeat. Slow and controlled, inhale, deep inhale, deep exhale as you cross, that's it. Good, so your mod two position, not getting as high up, okay? Mod one, we're not coming all the way to the ground. We're just coming off the ground and slightly past the midline of your body each time. We have three seconds left, two and one. All right, let's get you flipping over. So now we're gonna go into a supine leg crossover. So lightly lie on your back, hands out, bring your right leg up. You're gonna bring that leg right across all the way to three o'clock if you're thinking of a clock, okay? Then back over and let's repeat opposite side. Back and forth. So you're gonna feel that nice light stretch through your low back. This is great for low back relief. Okay, starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. So knee comes towards the chest and then that leg extends all the way over. Exhale, good, come right back and repeat on the opposite side. The difference in the mods is the range of motion. So mod two, we're getting just a little bit lower down. Excellent. Good, so remember for golf performance, you need flexibility, right? This is a great way to loosen up that back. Good, mod one, we're decreasing the range of motion further. We're coming straight up, over to the side, but not all the way to the ground, okay? Good, nice and controlled. Remember, this is all about control and the breathing. We have five seconds left. Good, last three, two, and one. Okay, next one, the lat wrist stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto your knees, okay? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands forward. Then I want you to walk your hands over to the right. We're gonna do a little bit of a hold here. Inhale, hold for five. Exhale, drop a little lower, okay? From there, you're gonna walk forward, come back out. We're gonna do two wrist stretches. So palms face forward on the first one. Sink back, your heels to hips. Force the palm to the ground. Hold that for a couple of seconds. And then we're gonna switch position, right? Come forward a little bit, force the back of your hand to the ground, come out of that, and then we're gonna repeat the whole thing on the opposite side, okay? Starting in three seconds. I'll go through this with you. Two and one. So walk your hands over to the right. Okay, nice deep inhale. Hold for five. And exhale, nice deep breath. Get deeper into that stretch, sink towards the ground a little further. Come out of that position. Good, walk yourself back, palms face forward, okay? So fingers face you. So your palms are gonna go towards the ground, come back on your hips. 
Good, and now go opposite direction. So back of the hand to the ground. Light stretch for the wrists. Good, and then walk over to the opposite side. Same thing, so we're gonna walk all the way over to the left. Hold for five, nice deep exhale. Excellent. This is especially useful for wrist movements when you're in the short game, right? To help with wrist mobility and then for lats as well. Good, last couple seconds guys, let's pop right out of that and we're done. Okay, so next one is the seated leg twist. You're gonna go right onto a seated position on the ground. So I want you to go on your hands, feet close together, knees close together. What's gonna happen here is you're gonna let your legs slowly go over to one side, okay? And then you're gonna look opposite direction as that happens. Okay, come back to center, same thing, opposite side. Look over to the right now as your legs go left. Keep your posture really tall through this as well. We're gonna start in three seconds, two and one. Here we go, so keep the core and head neutral all the way through this. Let your legs go, feel that stretch through the hip and low back area as you cross. It's a slow movement, exhale through the turn, okay? Exhale as your legs start to go towards the ground. If your neck is tight, go ahead and keep it forward like here in mod two. You're still gonna get a good stretch in your hips and lower back. Nice job. Good, and then our mod one position, we have Steph with limiting range of motion here. Nice. Good, good, so enjoy this movement. Think about the fluidity in your body. It should be nice and fluid back and forth, right? Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Focus on your posture. Be aware of your form all the way through this. We have three seconds left, two, and one. All right, guys, it's blowout time. So we're gonna get into a blowout. This may be one of the easiest blowouts you do in Evolve, but remember, golf is every bit about keeping your cool on the 18th hole as anything else, right? So we're gonna start off with the Zen swing, okay? So Zen swing, back and forth. Let the arms take the motion, right? Let your hips move. We're gonna go through that starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. So back and forth. We're gonna do 15 seconds of this and then I'm gonna change it up for you. I'll explain as we go through. Feel that fluidity we talked about, right? Your heels should come off the ground as your hips rotate with your body, right? Coming right through the movement every time. Let the momentum of your arms take you through. We got five seconds left of this and we're gonna get into a down dog, up dog movement here. Good, last three, two, and one. So walk it out with me all the way down, okay? So you're gonna drop the hips down, look up, and then you're gonna come back right into downward dog position and repeat. So we're gonna go back and forth, nice and slow. I want you to exhale as you come back, sink those heels to the ground, straighten those arms out. Keep going through this movement. That's it, breathe. Get into that breath. As you come back and your hips go up, nice deep exhale. Very good, feel everything lengthening out. Heels go to the ground, back of your legs should feel a nice little stretch happening, locking the uh, shoulders and elbows out. Good, let's go two more of these and we're gonna go back up to our Zen swing. We'll end up walking out of it. Good, last one. And let's go back into that Zen swing. Nice tall position, aware of your posture. Back and forth here, back and forth. We're gonna finish off with this. 15 more seconds, guys. Take that breath. Enjoy the fluidity of that movement. Go right through, let the heel come off the ground. Well done. Three seconds left. Two and one. Nice job, guys. 45 second break until we get into the next round. Awesome, okay, grab some water. We'll stay hydrated. Well done. Relaxing, eh? All right, so this is just as much a mental game as it is a physical one, just like golf. Get your game back on track and fight those negative demons in the head. We're gonna get nice and focused on this. Second round of set C, we're gonna start off with a hamstring push out, okay? So toes are pointing straight ahead, weight on the heels, very important, hands on the knees. We're gonna extend that knee joint, push the hips backward, okay? Nice and easy, push the hips backward. Starting in three seconds, two and one, here we go. Good, good, good. So think of sinking into those heels with each rep here. Exhale as the knees straighten, right? Inhale as you come back into it. Exhale, inhale. Feel that stretch. Good, tight hamstrings can really affect and impact your low back, the tension that you feel in your low back. Good, keep going. We got about 20 seconds left. Good. Again, if you can't get the hands on the knees and lock your knees out, no problem, just go hands on the hips. Steph's got a good example right here. 
We're still straightening those knees out. We're still forcing the heels down and getting that hamstring stretch. Good, last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's loosen up those calves again. So back into calf mobility. We're just moving through this one. Have your hands a little bit farther ahead of you this time, okay? So bend your left knee, straighten your right knee. Bend your right knee, straighten your left knee. Force the heel to the ground. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. That's it. The more you push yourself back and sink that heel to the ground, you're gonna feel the back of that lower leg stretch out. So this helps with ankle mobility, working the calves to stretch and elongate with each step here. That's it. Good, keep going. Very good. So you may not be sweating a lot during this set, but that's not the point with this one, right? This is about mobility. This is about movement and fluidity. Good, keep going. We're almost there. We got about 15 seconds left. Good, and if you feel you can, you can push back a little bit more, get that heel a little bit closer to the ground as things start to loosen up a little bit. Five more seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're back to that psoas hip flexor stretch. Step back with your right leg, right hand up in the air. If you're mod three, I want you to go medial, lean towards the midline of your body. Take a nice deep breath in, hold for five. And remember, when we release that breath, I want you to get deeper into that stretch, okay? I'll let you know when to switch sides, starting in three, two, and here we go. That's it, right hand up. Yeah, lean, hold the breath for five. Perfect, you're gonna feel this all the way up the front of that hip. Good, as you exhale, get deeper into that stretch. So we'll get a couple of times on this side before we switch. About another five seconds here. Excellent, okay, let's go over to the other side. So now step back, left leg, left arm up. Perfect. If you have really tight hip flexors and you're more of a mod one or mod two, so mod two, you're looking upwards as you go backwards, but you're not going midline of your body, right? So we're still getting a nice effective stretch there. Still doing that five second hold. We have four seconds left of this. Three, two, and one. Nice, let's get down onto the ground into the scorpion next. We're lying face down, arms in T position. Head on the ground and relax to the right, okay? Bring your right leg up, reach across, and come back down to neutral position and repeat. All right, starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. You go the range that your body will allow you to. If you're mod one, you're not going all the way over, but you're still getting that stretch. You might have some limitation, that's fine, right? We're gonna work in that range a little bit without forcing it. Mod two, we're going a little bit further each time. That's it. Good, remember, don't forget to breathe. You wanna exhale as you go across. That's your last rep on that side. Let's switch sides. Perfect, head looks opposite direction. Spine stays neutral the whole time. Very good. So mod three, you're going all the way across, right? You're going for that full reach. Your flexibility might be a little bit more through the back and hips. Very good. We got about five seconds left here. And then we're gonna go over onto the back. Last three, two, and one. Let's flip right over onto your back into the supine leg crossovers now. Arms in T position, head relaxed. Bend that right knee. Bring it across the midline of your body. Straighten out that leg. Feel that stretch through the hip and low back and repeat on the opposite side. All right, starting in three, two, and one. Perfect. Make sure your arms are nice, straight out, supporting yourself. Right, head stays relaxed and neutral. Palms face up. You want to externally rotate. Very good. Remember, this is back and forth, alternating sides here. Good. If you find you're loosening up throughout this, you can mod up, right? You can always go a little higher. Don't be married to your mod, you can always move up. Good, that's it. Get across, good breathing there, Jigay. Feel that as you come across? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you feel one side tighter than the other, or you feel pretty even? Uh, my right side's a little bit more flexible. More flexible? Yeah. All right, so it's good to be aware of those differences as well, right? We want to focus on balancing out. We have five seconds left, four, three, two, and one. Let's go down onto the knees. We're going into our lat wrist stretch here. So focus on going forwards first with the hands, walk over to the side, and we're gonna do a five second hold of your breath, and then relax, exhale, and then we're gonna come up to that wrist stretch, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and one. So you're walking to the right, okay? Nice deep breath in for me. Hold your breath for five, four, three, two, 
One, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Feel that stretch through the lats, right through that left side of your back, right? Good, and come out of that position, go into the wrist stretch. We're gonna go palms forward, fingers face your knees, okay? On your knees, yeah. Let those palms stay to the ground as you sink backwards, hips to heels. Feel that stretch, good, come out of that. Let's switch wrist position, right? Palms face up, fingers are still facing you. Yeah, now we're stretching through the front of the forearm there, good. Okay, let's walk over to the left side now. So all the way over to the left. Your range of motion can change based on your ability here. Good, holding, exhale, big exhale here. And get a little deeper. Last five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, and relax, excellent. Okay, so time for the seated leg twist. We're back to the seated position. Remember, posture remains really tall. Palms are on the ground. You let your legs go to the right side. So they slowly drop to the right side as you look left, okay? Back across, slowly drop to the left as you look right. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keeping nice and neutral through your core and your neck. So mod three, we're doing that opposite direction you're looking every time. Okay, feeling that nice light stretch. Yeah, this is nice and controlled. Focus on the breathing, focus on your posture, right? Chest high, shoulders back. Again, if your neck is tight, you can keep your head straight, but you're still going back and forth with the legs. Very good, very good. Winning range of motion a little bit here. That's it, nice and gradual. We got about 10 more seconds of this. We're not going to go into a cool down here because essentially for set C, we are cooling down. But if you feel like you want to stretch a little bit more after the blowout, then feel free to do so. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to start off with your down dog, up dog. So let's go into this position, right? You're going to come up, up dog, down dog. We're going to repeat that until I tell you to get into the Zen swing, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Good, so really feel the stretch here, feel the elongation as you go back, you want your heels sinking to the ground, that stretch in the back of the legs. You're gonna feel the lats, the shoulder area stretch out a little bit. And then as you go forwards, you're gonna feel your core, your hip flexors, everything loosen up just a little bit more each time. Don't forget the breath. So we're exhaling here as we go looking up, we exhale as we come back and sink into those heels. Very good. We're gonna keep going for 10 more seconds. You can start to increase your range of motion as you feel you're able to, right? As you start to loosen up a little more. Three more seconds, two and one. Let's walk out of that position, get into your Zen swing, side to side here, guys, side to side. Let those arms set the momentum. Heel comes off the ground. Keep that posture nice and tall all the way through. Good, we have about 15 more seconds of this and then we're gonna finish with our up dog, down dog. Nice work. Good, another eight seconds. Seven swings. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's walk back out. Back out, let those hips drop. Up dog, exhale. Good, down dog. Exhale, force those heels to the ground. Couple more, up dog. Exhale, feel that stretch through the core. And down dog, good. Last up dog here, three seconds left. Two, and one. One, nice job, congratulations, well done. That was the extended program of Golf One. Time to hit the links, guys. I'm Brent, and this is Evolve.